In the previous video, we set up a custom domain name. In this uh, video, we're going to set up enrollment for Windows devices. So we're going to follow this uh, document here. We're going to do the two first step here. We're going to enable automatic enrollment and then add uh, more DNS um, uh, registries so for our custom domain. So let's start by enabling automatic uh, enrollment. And we're going to do that in Azure AD. So where we were before in custom domain names, just below there we have mobility, MDM and MAM. So we're going to enable that. For that, we, you could enable it for everyone, but I'm going to create the groups for this. And what is MDM and what is MAM? MDM is mobile device management, and that is very much for devices, whereas MAM is more for applications. So with MAM, you can manage even um, uh, devices that you don't own in your organization. The only requirement, however, is that, um, let's say I have a mobile phone that's personal and I log in in Outlook Office 365, then with MAM we can manage some uh, settings in Outlook, for example, disable uh, copy and paste and stuff like that. So let's create our two groups that we will need, uh, or three groups possible. So if we go here in Microsoft Intune, enable MDM and it's users so it's only users we can either put easy here for everyone or we can limit on some I'm gonna limit on some so I'm gonna create uh, three groups actually so we'll come back here so if we go to uh, yep we don't it's gonna keep that and we go to groups I'm gonna create a few three new groups in Azure AD that we'll use in Intune later so I call this one GBN MDM uh, devices. And we're going to assign manually later. Let's create another group. Security group is good. Microsoft 365 group works as well, but then you get a lot of uh, other like SharePoint site and stuff. GBN, let's call this one MAM. Uh, MAM users. I should not have called out one devices since we add the uh, users only to this. So I'm actually gonna go back and uh, change the name of that one. See so if I do a refresh, MDM, it should be users here. Users, save. It had been saved. Okay. I'm going back to groups, refresh and see if our uh, MAM user, yes. And let's create the last group called GBN uh, MDM Enrollment. Can I spell that? Enrollment users, something like that. Create that. I'll Wait for it to show up. Perfect. We have our three groups. They are empty now, but if we create the custom users that we want to be able to uh, enroll, we can add them to these groups. So let's go back to Azure Active Directory. And then we go to uh, Mobility MDM and MAM. We start with Microsoft Intune and we do enrollment after. Let's put some. Again, you can put all. That's not a problem. Hi, this is John from the future. I'm actually recommending you to check all here instead of uh, battle with the groups. Then you have to add all new users and everything. So if you just have a lab, you could go with all. If not, keep the groups. Thank you. Problem at all. I don't have so many groups here, so be easy to choose. So MDM users, it's empty at the moment. So any one member of this group, um, will be managed with the MDM and for MAM the same and we chose our MAM user and we hit save part is done then we go to Microsoft Intune enrollment so we can enroll machines let's do the same some here and then add the group uh, MDM enrollment users so this part is done the first part, if we go back to Microsoft, so we have enabled automatic enrollment. We have clicked here, we have went to Microsoft Intune, 
and we have selected some and we have a group and now we're gonna create some uh, C name because a custom domain name if you don't have a custom domain name you're not forced to do this part so I'm going to create enterprise enrollment and enterprise registration and point to these so I'm gonna copy this part here it's gonna be a C name a common name so I go back to uh, DNS here so let's manage custom records this one is good let's create a new one so enterprise registration type c name time to live i think it was a bit um, one hour okay perfect one hour and it should point here to microsoft and paste that in perfect that's for enterprise enrollment we need one for enterprise registration also. That here. Looks like I got a space before. So like, yep. Then do a C name. And let's see what that points to. Enterprise registration windows.net. I'll right click to be sure here. Copy. Paste in. I'll, I'll like to do a new record and then delete it just to be sure to have saved the other one and save. Perfect. Now we have these two records here. As it's written here, it's uh, optional to create this C name, but it's be easier for the user. If not, they might be prompted to en enter in the MDM server and we definitely don't want that. So we can also verify the C name. Let's do that. So we have to go back. Oh, we haven't been in there yet. Let's go to um, Intune Admin. So we're sooner or later have to set up um, enabled security, but for now I'm gonna skip it. Do that in another video. This one start to be a bit long. If we go Devices, and then Windows, and then Windows Enrollment. Here we should have a C name validator. So let's put in your name, of course. I put in brents.cloud and test and see if all is good. It's good. Perfect. Perfect. That went very well. So in the next video, we are going to set up uh, Microsoft Store for business. So see you there. Thank you very much.